Well, it was once one of the most prominent symbols of American economic power. Now, though, it's known as Ground Zero, the World Trade Center reduced to rubble. Tonight, an emotional photo exhibit of the tragedy has opened in San Pedro, and our David Jackson joins us live with that story. David? Well, that's right, Mark. It's been one of the most well-received art openings here in the Harbor area for a number of years, in any number of years. There is a, a growing sort of an art community, I guess, here in the San Pedro area that has taken shape here on 7th uh, Street in downtown San Pedro. And this uh, display began last week, at the end of last week, and there's been large numbers of crowds that have come in here to the Senata Gallery to take a look at what Los Angeles has done for some of the people in New York following the days right after September the 11th. It is called Ground Hero, a photographic labor of love for photographer Robert Gallagher. 22 pictures of New York City relief workers are displayed and on sale in the Sonata Gallery in San Pedro. Just three months after Eyewitness News saw Gallagher working on a New York street corner near the World Trade Center in the first few days after the tragedy. As a photographer, I just wanted to try and document the effort that's going on here. So you're trying to get pictures of uh, fire department personnel, fire relief workers of any kind? Exactly, yeah, yeah. Gallagher photographed men like firefighter Paul Mazzilli, whose likeness now hangs on the gallery's wall, noting that he lost 22 close friends in the attack. He told me that day about how he was coping. That's a hard thing to get into and to really describe to somebody. Um, it, it's extremely difficult. You sort of want to put that behind you, and it doesn't hit you until later that night, the next day maybe even the next week. Tonight, Gallagher says the photos are the most personal he's ever taken. It was something that I, I just did purely out of the need to document history. Um, and I, it was not an assignment in any way. It was just something that I needed to shoot. It was, for me, a moment in history. And uh, these, these individuals, these faces, the way they felt at that time was important to me. The public has poured into this small San Pedro gallery over the past few days, curious about the nature of this work. I think people still in general are, are still shell-shocked, you know, yeah. even after all this time, and um, they just really love the work. The show runs at Senyata through December the 29th. And by the way, Robert Gallagher's photos are not inexpensive. They're selling for $1,200 a piece, but he's actually hoping not to sell them. He's hoping that he will keep them, the originals, that is, as a book, and uh, will then be able to publish that book and contribute the proceeds from it to the workers in New York City. Live in San Pedro, David Jackson, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Mark and Michelle, back to you.